I have been, you know, there's been this fear, especially with all the delays for disclosure or whatever it was, you know, to actually hear that I was always afraid to call him what he is, a drunk driver, but now I can say that and I don't have to be afraid to say that anymore. A drunk driver killed my family and he admitted to it. And that to me, I guess, maybe after I finish with my like shaky crying bout, I will be able to feel some relief at that. But at this point, all I can think about in my head is remembering back 10 years ago and, you know, looking at the clock and thinking I was in the NICU with Daniel at this time you know I was watching this test be this test whatnot right so that's all because there were some complications with his birth and stuff so that's what more is in my head in the fact the fact that it's 10 years later and he's not here with me anymore so it was as I said, it was, you know, horrifying, but at the same time, it's like horrifying to hear their names. And even though I've read the charges, I know what they are because, of course, I research them. But to hear them like made formal in, you know, on record and have my children's, my beautiful children and my dad's name attached to them, you know, it just it brings this so much more, I guess, home than before. Because before it was just like a text line, you know, a line in a book. But I'd never actually heard, you know, and, or it was, you know, four counts of impaired driving, whatever the term is. But today it was, you know, impaired operation of a motor vehicle resulting in the death of Gary Neville. Resulting in the death of, and those are my babies, you know. Can you forget Mark No. Not at this point. My religion teaches me that at some point, perhaps, if I live that long, but I guess the question is, is it survivable for us to get to that point? Because in order to forgive, you have to go through, you know, I'm not a saint, you have to go through the periods of hate and grief and everything. And I'm nowhere near that. I'm still in the information gathering stage. There are still so many pieces I don't know as to what happened. It's, uh, it's really hard to put down everything I'm feeling, the total devastation of just, of not being a mom anymore, of not being, you know, even my, my uh, relationship with my mother has changed. My relationship with my husband, every single faucet of my life that I worked on my whole life has been destroyed or just completely altered in such a way that it almost feels like it's not me. You know, that I'm reading this in a novel, I'm picking, you know, this is one of my ABA journals or something. It's not me. So I don't even know how to, I need to figure that all out first.